Gavin, where in Nebraska are you from? Um, North Platte. North Platte. I'm from Sioux City, Iowa. So I'm just, we're close by. It's great. But, you know, your story is so compelling because I think it, it epitomizes it takes a village to raise a child. Is that the kind of message you want to put across or you'd like people to get? Absolutely. I think from the beginning when we started, I was very... Uh, vocal about the fact that this wasn't a story about how great I am <laughs> and how I overcame so much by myself. It was really about for for young people to know that you it's going to take other people to help get you where you want to go and you cannot do it alone. And also for adults watching that you can be that someone for that young person, that young people in your community need your guidance and are not going to make it on their own. So I definitely want people to get that message. At that age, were you worried? Did you think I'm going to get lost? Something's going to happen to me. It's going to all go downhill. Or were you confident that somebody would be there for you? I think there were many times throughout my life where I thought I would not make it. <laughs> Whatever that might look like, I wasn't sure. But I, there were moments where I was like, I have no options. I there's nothing I can do. I could think of several examples about like even getting to school. I didn't have a car and I didn't live near a bus stop. It wasn't like a city. I wasn't going to be able to get to school. And I had someone, a teacher offer to drive me to school for that week. And then I had a family friend loan me their car to drive for a whole semester. So without that, I, I genuinely was thinking I'm going to have to drop out of high school because I was like, I can't, or I'm going to have to transfer. Or I don't know. But yeah, without them, I wouldn't have been able to do it. Nicole, when you're looking at choosing the people to be in this, how did you find them? How did you find the heroes? And what were you seeking? Were you trying to get a mix of different kinds of obstacles that kids face? Yeah, absolutely. I think that was where we started. We identified, we knew we were going to have a 10 episode season. And so we identified 10 kind of main themes and topics that uh, we felt were uh what growing up kind of entailed and lots of people had experienced. And then we started looking for people that had wanted to talk or had previously talked about those things. And so we ended up talking to hundreds of young people and we partnered with directors that were also interested in talking about that topic or that theme. And so whether it be financial insecurity or disability or body image. Um, so Ashley, direct the episode on disability and Smriti on body image and Kishori and I directed an episode on mental health uh, and de depression in particular. And so we knew that we were going to do that. And so then we brought the directors in and we narrowed down the casting that we'd done. Uh, and so each director got to pick from a pool of about three to five people. Um, and so then each director ended up picking the, the story that, that they wanted to, to tell. For the directors, how is that working with these people that have lived this life and you're trying to get it into a half hour and you're trying to make sure that everything that should resonate does? Um, I think it was a lot of prep, a lot of great prep with the producers of really hearing out someone's life story and then taking those nuggets and, and figuring out what can we build into 30 minutes that's going to be compelling. Um, you know, and I think with our episode, we were really focusing on like using your voice and finding your value as a disabled person um, and finding community, which is which is the most healing thing. And and now, you know, Emily and I are, are, are good friends. We, we talk all the time. And it's you know, that's part of building that self-confidence and, and that feeling of belonging. Wow. It's well, it's a very powerful series. It's fun to see. How these kids, they're so well-spoken. I can't believe that. And Gavin, I wish you all the best. I hope the world is yours. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you so much.